pastor teacher, according to the Greek, is one office. Because how can you pastor folk if you can't teach folk? You're not teaching them. I just saw someone elevated as pastor teacher. Mm -hmm. And I know, because as that apostle said, she not only um, functions as a pastor, but she's also a teacher. So that was how the certificate read, pastor right. teacher. Right, pastor teacher. Because that's the way it is in the Greek. Because if you notice, it says what? He gave some to be apostles, some, some. prophets, some evangelists and some pastors and teachers, not some pastors and some, some teachers. teachers. That's right. It's some pastors and teachers. The word translated as and after pastors but before teachers, this word right there, is the Greek word ki, Strong's number 2532, which is copulative, meaning coming or joined together. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. The other word translated as and from the Greek is usually the word da or de, depending on the, on the, on the context, is Strong's number 1161, which is continuative or in addition. Okay. So these other words and, and, or in addition to, he gave himself some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. This one here is continuative. This one here is copulative. Mm -hmm. There are two different words in the Greek. Both of them get translated as and, but the word and can mean one of two things. Mm -hmm. It can mean together with, mm -hmm. or it can mean in conjunction cumulatively. Can mean two different things. Okay? So, note, note that the word some does not appear before teacher. Some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and cumulative teachers. Make sense? Yes. All right. Oops, I went backwards. Yes, I did. Okay. The function expounded. There's an analogy where he calls pastors as shepherds, refers to them as shepherds. So, what does a shepherd do? A shepherd, as the pastor, they love and are willing to lay their life down. They feed the flock, they lead the flock, they protect the flock, and they encourage reproduction. And that reproduction should be purposeful reproduction. Ephesians 4, 13 through 16 says there's what? One faith, one knowledge, one baptism until we come to the unity of the faith. Right? And every part doing its part mm -hmm. causes growth in the body. Mm -hmm. So, the pastor teacher encourages reproduction, but that reproduction should be purposeful. purpose, oneness of faith, oneness of knowledge, and maturity. How is the pastor gift developed in an individual? Very much similar to the other ones. Prayer, the pastor has to be a person of prayer. They have to have a time of preparation or knowledge of the word. And just as any other gift, they need to learn to hear and obey the voice of God. So that's their function. And that is their development. Does everybody have this? Yes, we do. Okay.